Dear Britain, I have so many questions. I quite literally have emotional indigestion. Where can I start? It's tearing me apart. So here's where I'll start and hopefully you'll understand me at least in part. The UK is confusing and feels psychotic at times, dancing around the blurred lines. It's August 24 and again you face a wake-up call. Three little girls swiftly taken, leaving everyone shaken. It's beyond heartbreaking. But this tragedy was co-opted. It's so blatant. It seems like forever I've been saying, racism isn't over. But I get that look. Mm, she's got a chip on her shoulder. We wish you were right, then we wouldn't have to fight. To fight because you say our skin colour isn't right. You see, we have done what we've been told to do. We've worked hard. But life has given us so many false starts. Not sure when we can take part. You see, it's this psychosis I first mentioned, along with the demand for assimilation. Why must we try to be someone's reflection when we know it comes with rejection? Ah, it's a deflection. So we can stop talking about the lack of representation. Racism doesn't just throw bricks. It's so complicated. I see the worst of society manipulated. What really gets me is when the most well-meaning have seriously contemplated the ideology of the outrageous. It's outrageous. But I must stop being shocked because they will never see it's the fault of those at the top. I honestly think they don't want to see it. This is their sacred representation that one day they could be it. Surely I'm not the only one who sees it. We want our jobs back. <laughs> Can you believe that? I know the jobs we're given is beneath them. We're just concerned about immigration. Let's take this moment to think about colonised lives and cultures continually taken across nations. Do you really know why we're here? It's all to do with you being there. We've only come to work hard and on occasion visit the museums to see the stuff you've taken. After World War II, you invited us here saying you were in despair. So we rushed over like wind for an opportunity to begin. But we were greeted by your original sin. But back to what I was saying and the shocking riots and the vitriol you were relaying. A week later, you came out and said, these riots are over. If that's all it takes, then why isn't racism over? How do they simultaneously say I have a chip on my shoulder? Or is it more about the fashion and the flavour of the racist behaviour that some find hard to savour? Dear Britain, what will it take for you to learn? Generations to live what you have earned? <laughs>